screw you. Loving that vibe. No kidding you. Like, we need this. Chippy showers. I'm loving this. If you guys haven't ready, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me. tuning in let's get right on into this so we're gonna react to machine gun kelly and avril lavigne avril is a throwback moment this girl has been such a big part of like growing up and like influencing a little bit more of like a pop punk rocker girl thing going on but i do love avril from like back in the day she's a good voice she's a good performer and obviously she's well connected getting work done i gotta amen to a girlfriend for getting some work done let's get right on into this it's been so long that this came out and I still haven't reacted to it. It's been like three weeks. I think it's because like I heard a clip of it and then I was just like not a fan at first. I lost my computer. It took a couple of days before I could actually get back to reaction videos. But we're here. We're gonna make a reaction video to it. Let's see how it sounds. I'm interested to see this collab because I know that they had been working on this in the studio for some time now. They finally gave it to us. There's no official music video, but we do have an official lyric video. We also have, they performed live with Travis Barker, which by the way, Travis Barker is on this one. This is another reason why I'm doing this reaction. Love Travis Barker, you already know. We're gonna go ahead, watch the live version just so that we have something to look at. Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay, before it starts, I just want to say that the vibe is already giving me, like, definitely Avril vibes from, like, high school. We used to, like, jump around. Skater boy vibes. Literally skater boy vibes. No kidding you. This is so ironic. They're performing live. They are performing live with Travis Barker. Live at Series XM. You guys, what is this Machine Gun Kelly wearing? What is Machine Gun Kelly wearing? I don't know, he's starting this trend. I don't hate it, I don't hate it, I like it. There's nothing that he does that I don't like. Something like this, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, what is he wearing? Why is he wearing that? What is he doing? What are you doing? But I'm loving this because we all love a little bit of a lower waist tease. The crop top is something that men do not wear, so it's a statement piece. It's saying it doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl, you can wear whatever the f you want. Whatever you f want loving that vibe let's get into this let's hear the lyrics let's see how it plays out let's see how they work well together or if they don't which i'm sure if they didn't then this song wouldn't even be relevant and if they wouldn't be performing it and it wouldn't be a hit so let's go i love it live it sounds good she's she's actually good live i was afraid that it wasn't gonna sound as nearly as good live so you tell me what you want you tell me what i want to hear you got a sharp tongue like a razor blade interesting lyrics it's like talking about like a breakup or something or like an ex and she's mad this is this is drag. what who wrote this song i want to know if it was a collab written song or if they bought the song written from somebody else let me know in the comments below who wrote the song if you know who wrote the song how it was brought together if they just wrote it together in the studio or what there's travis barker you guys loving the drums already you already know let's go Never Wow, she hits those high notes really well. That's one thing about Avril is that she can actually sing. I love it. I love how talented she is. She doesn't look like she's aged a day since we've last seen her work. She has a new album. It's called Love Sucks. I know she was dating Maude's son. That's pretty much all I know recent with her. Loving the pink hair. Girl, this is my vibe. This is my thing. I'm living for the pink hair. Revenge is my sweet tooth. Boys lie. I love it. I love that he he has this younger pop vibe about him that like, he, I mean, the audience is only going to get younger and younger from here. Like I'm sure back when Bloom and General Mission was a thing, the audience just got bigger. It's crazy. Boys lie. Boys lie. So tell me why. Why you tell your friends that I'm the bad guy when you're the villain. 
his part. I'm excited for this. But before we get to his part, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm pausing a lot, but I have a lot to say. Avril Lavigne has such a high pitched voice, but I love it. This is definitely a song. It's got the beat that makes me want to jump around. It's very exciting. I can see myself at the concert listening to this for sure. Jumping around with my Doc Martens on or something in that nature and like some pink and black and silver and like just rocking it out at the concert. I honestly would love to have her on tour. To, to perform this song would be amazing. Like we need this. Love it, iconic for sure. Smoking a joint already you know that i'm in for this i'm loving that but he's pink hair you guys you guys he has pink hair he's pink hair and pink nails i'm loving this shit right now let's take a look at the lyrics that he's talking about right now a little bit so tell me why why you tell your friends that i'm the bad guy when you are the villain love it. executed those lyrics so tell me why you you never tell the truth Loved it. Love her outfit. She's wearing a black leather skirt. Love this girl for you because I have one just like that and just awesome. Okay, this is such a vibe. It sounds great live. I'm actually more excited about this live, but this, this is such a vibe that just is so brings you back nostalgically back to high school. It's catchy. I already know the lyrics now. It's crazy because Travis on the drums, it makes you just want to bop around. You're like, girls lie, but boys lie too. I love this shit. how they went back and forth and it sounds kind of like they're fighting and they're like yelling at each other. I'm just loving it. The lyrics, it's such a great duet. Usually duets are like, we're in love, but this one's more like, screw you and no screw you. You know what I mean? Like, love this shit. myself like in the audience like jumping around and the only reason why the audience right now is not jumping around is because they don't know the song yet we need a before and after in a couple months when he performs this live in a stadium like a real big stadium just watch all of the audience just jumping around they're not right now because they don't know the song yet but wait just wait for it <laughs> Just top the song. Uh, this is my new favorite song. Boys for Machine Gun Kelly! I was like, is it raining? And then I see the champagne bottles and I'm like, I just want it all in my mouth right now. Ah. That was awesome. I have to say they killed it. I'm so excited more now than ever for the concert to come, the tour, because now I really want to see Avril in concert because of this. I'm hooked. 
I have been an Avril Lavigne fan since middle school. I loved her Skater Boy. I loved her Skater Boy um, Girlfriends. She did Girlfriends remix with another girl. Awesome. I had my moment where I was obsessed with Avril. Um, it's definitely bringing me back those feelings of when I was obsessed with Avril's music. If you guys want some more Avril Lavigne reaction videos on her new album, Love Sucks, let me know in the comments below. I might just make them for you. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. This video was awesome. Let me know what you thought about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. The girls like to.